it's Perch we found here. Uh, I'm here with my friend Nick, and we're going to talk Hi. very briefly, which is Nick, uh, about what the William Hartnell era, the first Doctor, his era around from 1963 to 66. Tell us, Nicholas, about some of the uh, the idiosyncrasies that William Hartnell brought to the, the character of the first Doctor. Well, William Hartnell had a lot of different aspects of him that were unique to his Doctor. Mm. A lot of hmm, 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 and all these sort of little different words he used to have. And then when he used to forget his lines, he had... Well, for example, things like, oh, it's, it's not whether it's relevant or not. And it should have been relevant. Or getting yes. the, the surname of Ian Chesterton wrong. So he came up with things like oh. Checkerton and, and Charlton and Chesterfield. So, um, people often uh, say he, the first Doctor was very grumpy. Well, he was some of the time, and it was quite a lot in the first episode. But don't forget in stories like the Romans, the Doctor had a terrific time travelling. Oh, he he did, was yeah. loving it, he was Absolutely. laughing and... He was very, um, very uh, eccentric and sort of giddy at times. Actually, it yeah. could be really loving as well as grumpy. Very much so. Very much so. Um, now, can you tell me about your favourite uh, William Hartnell yeah. story? Now, I believe it's the very second Doctor Who story ever, yeah, the Daleks. What is it that you like about that? Well, it's so atmospheric, and it's the first alien race that the Doctor meets mm. ever. So, mm. it's just the Daleks in that are just so mm. they're, they're scheming, and they're so just so evil in it and it really and the voices that just got them absolutely right i mean it's they have it's peter hawkins who does the voices that's right so it's absolutely brilliant. and brilliant. of course the wonderful so, terry nation script. absolutely yeah uh, i love all terry nations to be honest um now also the of course we know there's a lots of missing episodes from that, yes, that era right. and i'm quite it's very sad of course but it's quite a relief that the soundtracks were recorded and absolutely. there were photographs called telly snaps and various that's episodes true. so we can get an idea of some of those missing episodes. Now just tell us about the Dalek's Master Plan, that epic 12-parter. Uh, well, to where to begin? Where to begin? Be begin with the Dalek's Master Plan? I mean, we've got three episodes that are still mm. with us at the moment, episodes mm. 2, 5 and 10, and we've got so much that happens in it. I mean, we've got two companions that die, and then we've got this, yes. and then we've got a, a one-time companion, Brett Byron, played by Nicholas Courtney, who later on goes to play the Brigadier. Uh, yes, Nicholas Courtney's first appearance in Doctor Who. But uh, but uh, episode four is absolutely brilliant. But sadly, we don't have that anymore. So. We don't. But we can still listen to the sound. We can, and who brilliant. can forget the, the that wonderful villain? Who should have um, come back? Kevin Stoney. Mavic Stone Chen. Mavic Chen. Kevin Stoney. Or the Doctor, I think, once mistakenly Magic calls Chen. him Magic yes. Chen. Yes. <laughs> So there we have it, the Daleks' master plan and the Daleks, and um, of course the most sought after episode uh, in the Hartnell era, I think any fan would say this, would be the Tenth Planet episode, episode four. 4. Every fan would love to see that. Uh, what is it that makes you want to see that, Nicholas? Well, Tenth Planet episode 4, it's got the Cybermen for the first ever time, and of course the first ever regeneration of exactly. William Hartnell and Patrick Trout. Exactly, very significant moment for those two reasons. And also, we were quite lucky that the fact that the regeneration sequence we are at the end exists thanks to it, the clip being used on Blue Peter. And, and the uh, fan as well in Australia. Yes. He recorded an off air. Yes, that's true. And so, we've had a quick little overview of the Hartnell era, and of course, I'm in a sort of vague version of the costume, and I've got a Patrick Troughton here. That's the next video. Uh, of course, William Hartnell's last appearance in Doctor Who was the 1973 10th anniversary story, uh, The Three Doctors. Of course, Hartnell couldn't be fully involved with the script because he just wasn't well enough, so they had to get, sit him down in the studio in Ealing and he had to sit down and read off cue cards and say a few lines. And it worked really well because the first Doctor was giving speaking to the second and third Doctors through the tar via the TARDIS scanner and it was a very touching uh, last performance of William Hartnell and he still had the auth authority oh, tremendously. Yeah. Well, so, have you got anything to say in closing yes, about Hartnell? Yes, we've Hartnell. been really lucky as well with um, William Hartnell because most, unlike Patrick Troughton, a lot of his stories still do exist. They do. And, recent, they do. and most recently we've had an episode of Galaxy 4 Yes, we have. Like um, Airlock, so episode three, which is really good. And um, well, that we'll be seeing that on DVD in 2013 yes. for the 50th exactly. anniversary. Well, I know it's a bit of a way, but I think it's appropriate to oh, bring it, it out be. for the, the anniversary. Um, so there we go, a little overview of, of the Hartnell era. Uh, any comments below? Love to hear from you. I will reply to them as soon as I can. Uh, nice to see you. Bye.